Hello there, this is Nellis Geek. Today it was an interesting day for me because I had the time to go out and visit my local thrift stores and get some horror books. Here's what I've bought. Um, the, I'll start with the most expensive of the books I've gotten. It was Rosemonder by Stephen King. It's a signet book, which means a British version. Uh, a really interesting cover. I uh, got it for 5 euros. It was um, steep, I know. Uh, considering that it's um, about seven uh, and a half euros the retail price um, but yes it's a rose mother um, it's from what I've heard I'm not a big you know I'm not a very big uh, Stephen King fan I've got other books of his in my to be read pile it's a story about a woman who tries to escape her not that um, great husband I don't know exactly what this book is about. I know that it's not my next Stephen King to read. I have other books of his in my pile, as I told you before. Um, I've got The Dark Half. I've got The Stand, which is another book I'm not going to get. It's very, very big, and I don't like door stoppers that much. And um, I've got a Night Shift and it's full things. I guess uh, my next read by Stephen King is The Dark Half, but I would, rather do, I would rather hear your opinions if I should read this one and what it's about. If you've read any of these books and you want to make a suggestion, please leave a comment. Next book is from a writer I don't know, it's Shadow Eyes. I'm not sure how much I paid for this book. It's by Catherine Tatsik, it's an author I don't, I don't know, but I love the cover. I think it was cheap, it was for 2 euros or something. And the cover price is uh, also about three euros in today's money but it's very old I mean I checked inside and there was a receipt and it was bought in the 90s by the previous owner because of the price inside the book was not in euros which means yes it's very old it's a uh, our own uh, Hamelin book um, I the the blurb says that it, there is a town and people are dying and there is something evil with uh, golden eyes and razor sharp teeth. I assumed it was a vampire novel, but from what I've read on Goodreads and you know the, the reviews that were not glowing, it's based on Indian legends. It's a slim read. It's about three hundred pages. I guess it will be some. It will be good uh, horror trashy fun, which is uh, I guess it's great. I will be a fun experience uh, reading it, even though, even, even if it's not that great, okay? I don't know the author. Um, this is her first book I have acquired of read. Well, I haven't read that one yet. But yes, that's it. It's recommended by Peter Straub, and I really like Peter Straub. Uh, my next book was the cheapest of the pile. It's from, it's from BC Andrews. It's Heaven. And I've bought this book because of Booktube. I've seen a video by uh, Bookaholic1979 with covers from PC Andrews books and their step covers, meaning that. How much can I fail in this? Okay, we, we have this cover over here and there is this hole over there. And you see a second cover underneath it. And I was impressed by this because, as far as I understand, all of PC Andrews books are like that. And I think it's young adult gothic. You know, it has some it's teens and risky stuff, risque stuff. She was a best-selling author for I don't know for how long it was, uh, but you know I'll I'll, I'll know her because of BookTube, and I'm not sure it's a horror book. Guess I'll give it a read. But you know what? It was I bought this for one euro, so even just for the cover gimmick, I'm good was too cheap and I guess I'll get it's, the, it's worth money. Uh, the next book is Demonic by Stephen Laws. This is um, uh, it's an English library book. I have another book of his. It's either in my uh, to be read uh, stack or to be read pile or to be read mountain of books. I'm not sure. It's Dark Fall. Um, this one I bought it because I really love the cover. It's very stylish, very gothic. 
Uh, the blurb sounds uh, fun. We have this uh, architect who is uh, filthy rich. He has a castle for himself, he calls the rock, and he invites people to his house after years of isolation. And there is a deal with the devil he has done. And I don't know, I guess there'll be sacrifices or something. This book was bought for three euros, as you see. And this, uh, you know, the store I bought it from has left the mark, the price on it. So this book will forever um, bear the trump stamp of um, I bought it used for three euros. What can I say? And last but not least, we have James Herbert and Nobody True. I've read other James Herbert books before. I have read um, The Fog. I've read others. I've read Haunted. Each one of them was different from the other two book, from the other books. Uh, he has a very diverse uh, list of books, and he's not doing the same thing over and over like some other uh, horror authors. I won't name names, you know them, um, and from the books I've read, he, he has a good pen, really, his books are enjoyable, they're very interesting, um, and the blur for this one is amazing, we have this guy who can get out of his body in other body experiences, and here you see, there's another Trump stamp I bought from the same book store as Demonic. Oh well, and it's a Macmillan book, it's a pan book, so British edition too. Uh, so, okay, back to the blurb, we have the protagonist who can get out of his body, and he controls that, and one night he does that, he returns to his body, he finds his body mutilated, murdered and mutilated, it, it is done by a serial killer, and he is uh, threatening his family, I guess, but he's, while well, he's investigating on who killed him, he's a ghost, so he cannot uh, touch anything, cannot communicate with people. <laughs> That's very interesting, really. I'm going to read this book um, very soon, because I really love the synopsis. I have another uh, James Shirt book in my... Um, collection. It's the Master Code that I haven't read that one yet. Uh, but yes, this one sounds very fun. It's definitely a read uh, very soon. And that's all for today. That's my um, pile of books hold from the thrift store. Um, so if you've read any of those books, please leave a comment. Say if I should read or put off reading it. And um, have fun! Thank you for watching!